All right, Don Lemon uh, spent some time up in uh, Cambridge covering this story for us here at CNN. He's with us uh, right now. And Don, you, you shared with us just a little while ago a very moving email that you received uh, from Sergeant Leon Lashley, the black officer who supports his fellow white officer, who uh, Sergeant Crowley was at this uh, beer meeting with the president and the vice president and Professor Gates. Uh, I, I want you to give us some of the background, including what you promised you'd do, some of that uh, some of what uh, Sergeant Lashley originally said that caused an uproar, especially in the African-American community. Yeah, well, why don't we play that real quickly, and then I'll talk about everything that, uh, that, that you mentioned there. But this was uh, the press conference on Friday, right after the press conference. CNN, the only news organization allowed to go in to speak to those officers while, while Sergeant Crowley was listening. Take a listen to Leon Lashley. From what I seen, and I was there, he did nothing wrong. This situation right here was not a racial motivated situation. And you know people, obviously, they're going to pay closer attention to you because you're an African-American man, I'm just being honest, mm -hmm. and you're supporting this white officer that is, has been put out there by some that he was, you know, racially profiling Dr. Gates. They're going to pay attention to you. I hope they would. Uh, they called him, a, I heard one of the comments, a rogue cop. There's nothing rogue about him. He was doing his job. When I got there, uh, Wolf, last week, right after this incident happened, the Cambridge Police Department, the police commissioner himself said that uh, the men and women of that police department were deeply wounded by the president's comments and the turn of events, but then the president comment, president's comment uh, that followed. And they were concerned about speaking to the, the press. I had to gain their confidence and tell them, you know, I want to play your side of the story. Uh, I'm not going to do gotcha journalism. I just want you to, to speak to us and tell us what you're thinking. There's no judgment in that. And so as I spoke to them, as I gained their confidence they spoke to me about that and said you know we would not stand behind this officer black white Puerto Rican who, who, whomever if we thought that he did the wrong thing and it wasn't just a matter of blue about police officers sticking together they look at this officer as family not only as colleague as a colleague but as family and they simply was standing by someone they feel was wrongly harmed but in this letter uh, Wolf that I read just moments ago this sergeant who's a 26 year veteran of that police department and also the other young lady who is a, a 16 year veteran of the police department uh, police officer uh, Kelly King they're concerned about the perception especially among black that they are in some way betraying their heritage because they are standing by uh, this officer. And, and, and just to you know, talk about w with, um, what Michael Eric Dyson was saying and uh, what Soledad has been talking about being at the Urban League uh, and also Larry Elder, I do think that this can make a difference if out of this there is some constructive conversation and, and if they come out of this uh, with some solid points about where we go from here, what we're going to, to do to address this issue. The concern in the community, in the African American community and also in the larger culture is that this is only a photo op and it only adds to the fodder uh, in the conversation rather than solutions. And